Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of My Ultimate Team. I'm FIFA Vic, and this is how the team is looking. It's ultimately going to be uh, an Empower League 1 and Nigeria hybrid. We've got Shiwombi up front, absolute ledge, 78 pace, a million strength, a million shot power, and three star skills. Uh, nice and cheap, but um, he's one of those players that just plays quite fun in this game. Um, so that is that. We get drawn up against this team. We're just flying into matches at the moment, making coins and doing what we can to get by. Win a penalty here. It is so effective, the heel-to-heel -heel flick, when going around a keeper, because even if you mess it up, the goalie will bring you down. And uh, there's only one man we want on this. Debutant, Shuwambi. Shinobi, Shiwombi, I, I don't know. He used to play for Leeds. Um, I've forgotten who he's playing for now. Might be Carlisle or someone like that. But uh, he does the business from the spot. He went, then wins a penalty. Um, it was one of those penalties where uh, you just block the shot and uh, a penalty's given. <laughs> which is fair enough. Uh, evened it up, which is fine. The guy had quite a nice Korean team, actually, and that was an incredible header. To uh, turn it the other way, you don't see many of those heads in FIFA 12. And just to fill you in, guys, on the schedules, tomorrow I will be bringing out part three of my coin making series. And then on Saturday, I'll be back to bringing out this again, another episode of this. And I'll keep Sunday. Uh, I'll keep Sunday open for now. I'll tell you what I'm doing straight away. Do not miss part three of the coin making because it is actually the one tip that I that I do daily. It, it is it is my bread and butter on my main account. I'm not a super. I just can't be bothered to trade all the time. But this method is so 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 effective. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. We won that game eventually. Uh, Jarvis popping up in the last minute. And we do a little bit of trading here. We buy an Empower right mid. There isn't a bronze Nigerian right midfielder. So this is where the Empower aspect comes in. We'll pick up an Empower right back and an Empower right mid. Duffy has got quite a bit of pace. He's got more pace than like he's he's got he's quite little, so he's got that acceleration as well as his overall pace on his card. He actually feels a lot quicker than uh, than uh, his card says. And we pick up a right back from Knox County, so we've got a strong link between the Nigerian Knox County centre back and the right back. And we get drawn up against this fella, who has. Almost a starter pack, but he's he's obviously bought a couple of players um, at the in the defence because he's got sixty odd chemistry, and you'd be very lucky to get that in a starter pack. Sorry, I'm drinking coffee. Um, Shawombi again from the spot, powering home in part three of this guys in episode three of this. Shawombi scores two beast long shots. It's a bit back to what I was saying before about the power. It, power, I think, is as, if not more important when it comes to long shots. I'm not sure that long shot trait actually does anything. But, um, but having power really helps because if it's your day and you strike it sweet, if you've got the shot power, it's coasting in. Get drawn up against this fella. And after this game, I think I'm going to go into the bronze tournaments. But all he's got is a Carvalho at centre back. He's obviously got a plan, but he can only afford one player at this point. Having said that, he brings on, after that goal from Shawombi, he brings on nice bit of work from the Shomster here as well. Showing what a lad he is before just rolling it across the box. He brings on Jun uh, G Sung Park after this, actually, the Man United goal. So he's got a couple of goals. He's starting starting off, but uh, not got the squad to back him up at the moment. And Carvalho on his own, he's not a, he's never going to be a game turner in that sense. 
he's actually quite slow. You know, my bronze strikers are quicker than Carvalho. So, so tough first choice. I always like to start with a goalie or a striker, or at least a central centre back. Jarvis, Jarvis is doing really well actually. He's not going to be part of the plans ultimately. He's in the completely wrong formation, but uh, his finishing is solid. I don't know him in real life, but I'm assuming that is his that is his uh, that is his bag in real life. Finishing because his finishing is superb in this. I haven't looked at his stats. We pick up a noir. If you have seen my season one RTG, noir was a bit of a star of that one. So he is back in the fold. I bought him injured for 500 coins. He usually sells on the market for about 2,500 coins. So even putting a health guard on, I got an absolute bargain. He's got 83 pace. He's strong for a little lad and uh, he does the business. I really like him in this. He plays above his card as well. This is what we found out in season one of my RTGs. He plays way above his card. And we get to run against this team, I hate this. Um, maybe the guy's doing like, this is another guy on YouTube or something, and I, know, I don't know him at all. But um, to have a fully random crappy bronze team, but then in form on real up front. And uh, is it, was it Joe Hart in net or someone, another gold in net, it's just frustrating. Noir gets a goal on debut, I give him the old ear thing. Because he's annoying me. He was just lumping up to Henri as well. I was completely dictating the play in this match. But uh, could not stop and inform Henri. And uh, he takes the win there. And from this point I think I'm into bronze tournament time. We pick up another player as well. He slots right. In it's Tayo from Carlisle, who's Nigerian and Empire League One, so he is perfect. And I wasn't paying attention, I'm assuming this isn't a tournament. But we're into this match now. No great shakes in that team at all, presumably just to start a pack. Noir gets another goal. He's just a great player. I mean, I'm not saying buy him because it's not, it's not easy to find a squad that he fits in. But uh, he, is, he is a good player. He's really good fun. I wish he had three-star skills. I think he's only got two. I think he's got four-star weak foot and two-star skills. Shawambi, on the other hand, has three-star skills, and that's what makes him beast. Some of the goals in the next episode I might send off, actually. <laughs> I might put them all together and send them to KSI. See if he wants to do a beast on Shawambi. Must be nice when you're at that level of YouTube where you don't have to make your own content. Another goal from Noir. And a 4-1 win in that one. Easy pickings. It's just if, if we get a draw against the weak side. Cheers.